Hey guys, welcome back. So last video you saw, we ripped the motor and trans out the truck. So today we're gonna go ahead and get working on stripping this thing down. I'm gonna go ahead and get the harness and everything off of it. And then we're gonna get it outside and get it cleaned up and pressure washed. And then uh, sit there and get it prepped and everything for paint and start working on getting this thing put back together. All right guys, so we got it all disassembled now. Uh, pressure washed down and clean. I ain't super worried about the aluminum stuff because uh, that's gonna come off. Uh, some of it's gonna get replaced with new parts like the valley cover. It's gonna get replaced with new. And uh, I'll end up taking the old pan off and everything to put new gaskets and everything on it to seal it up along with the front and rear uh, covers on the engine. So I'm not super worried about those because I'm gonna clean those up and they're gonna get sprayed a different color anyways for the time being. They are just going to be used so I ain't got to tape off those areas to paint. So I could just spray right on it. Ain't going to hurt it because I'm going to go back and uh, do those anyways. So I pretty much got it ready for paint. I did find out this is a GM performance transmission that's been replaced in the truck. Not sure of uh, the year that was done. But also this is a GM performance block or whatever it is the manu or the assembly date for the block was 10 25 2013 so prior was put in the truck maybe around 2014 so that means that this block or this engine probably only has about five six years on it because the guy had it sitting in the field for three or four years before i got it not running so yeah it probably maybe ain't got a hundred thousand miles on it maybe less maybe a little more so it's got less miles than the truck showed so yeah, might have looked out there and got a pretty decently low mileage engine to go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up, um, mask a few things off and get ready to start spraying it.
All right, guys, so we got it all painted up, got all the masking and everything off. Uh, so she's looking pretty decent, as you see. So, like I said, not a show truck, but trying to make her look presentable, so she looks pretty decent there. Uh, I'm not super worried about the heads because actually Brian Parameter with uh, Blue Collar Hot Rods, he is sending me a set of LS3 heads so I can go back with an LS3 top end again. So I'm not super worried about getting these cleaned up looking super pretty just because they'll be coming right off the engine. Also ordered a new valley pan cover so I'm not super worried about that. Uh, and I will be pulling the oil pan off and getting it cleaned up. Uh, that or I'll be using my old oil pan that's already clean. So yeah guys, uh, that's going to cover painting everything. So stay tuned for the next video where we start assembling everything and getting it ready to drop in the truck. Just a heads up too, I did get the merch store set up. So if you do want uh, some Frost Garage sweatshirts, t-shirts, tumblers or whatever else, I do have them. This is uh, the one I have right now. I got some more stuff on the way to show, but uh, this is the rat rod. I also offer it with the Silverado. And of course I got Mr. Hank Hill, my propane tank sitting here being the display for me. So yeah, guys, if you want to go down below to the description, hit the link for the merch store and get you some uh, Frost Garage gear. Yeah, I appreciate it, it helped me out. And uh, it goes towards supporting the channel. All right, guys, so that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Uh, so stay tuned, like, subscribe, and keep following along as we get this thing back running again and ready by March 2nd.